Ah, Riva, how are you all in London? It's been a long time. Hello, Tanusha. Oh, yeah, it's been long. We all are doing good here. Hope you all are doing good as well in India. We all are fine as well. How's the situation in London? And why do you hear so upset? Okay, that's good to hear. The situation? Ah, it's getting worse day by day. And I'm upset because of this COVID due to which we could not visit your place in India as we had planned. Oh, that's right. I was also very excited to meet you. But now there is no way. Let me think if there is. Mm. Oh, yes, there is. Let me give you a virtual tour of Indian historical monuments. Great idea. Let's do it now, if possible. Sure, but it will take me a few minutes to find out the videos which I had clicked when I had visited them. Till then, why don't you connect with the laptop for a better and bigger virtual view? Doing the same. You carry on with your search. Now let me take you to the Red Fort, the place where the Mughal kings lived. The Red Fort was actually white as it was made from limestone. The Britishers painted it red as the limestone awesome. started fading. It's so beautiful. I really loved it. It's superb. Now let, now let me take you to a beautiful example of Indian and Persian architecture, the Humayun stone built by Humayun's wife. It was the main inspiration for the Oh Sanskrit. really? Was it? It's so interesting. I loved it. Now let's visit India Gate. It is a 42 meter monument which is built on Rajput. It is dedicated to the 82,000 soldiers who fought the World War I. And the Amar Jawan Jyoti burns there till date. The Amar Jawan Jyoti of the internal flame? So nice. It's so huge and lovely. Now let's go to Jaipur in Rajasthan. The palace of wind or the Hava Mahal is called so because it looks like a honeycomb and is shaped like a crown. There is 953 windows in this monument and it is made for the royal ladies as they were always in Parda. Wow! 953 windows! It's just unbelievable! It's so gorgeous! Now let's go to the Amer Fort which is 11 kilometers from the pink city Jaipur. It was the residence of kings. It is a UNESCO site which is one of the most visited places. Truly, so lovely. It's marvelous. I am excited to know more. Hey, that's a Victoria Memorial. I had heard it from my parents and grandparents. It is very much beautiful. Yes. This is Victoria Memorial, surrounded by lush green gardens, a museum filled with British architecture, weapons, paintings, sculptures and a royal portrait of the Queen as well. Hey. The Gateway of India was the access point of entry and exit during the British Very era. nice. Ajanta and Ilura Caves is the finest ancient rock cut caves near Aurangabad, Maharashtra with beautiful sculptures and paintings. Ajanta and Elora Caves consist of Buddhist, Jain and Hindu monuments. The Ajanta Caves are 29 in number. Elora Caves are more spread out and 34 in number. The rocket is unique and authentic. I just can't believe my eyes. Let me now tell you about Kunak Temple in Orissa. This was built by 1200 artisans, that is like a magic set in multiple stone. This shows small detailings of ancient architecture. The 12 wheels show accurate timings as they are sundials. Yes, you are saying the truth. The architecture is spell bonding. Khajurao Temple in Madhya Pradesh is famous for its Nagara style architectural symbolism and erotic sculptures. 
This is the new place I have taken you to. Okay, really, sculptures are beautiful and very much erotic. I love this. Come, let's go to Punjab's Jallianwala Bagh. The bloody history of Jallianwala Bagh is known to all. A mass shooting was ordered in Jallianwala Bagh and thousands of innocents were killed. There is a martyr's well and bullet marks all around. This memorial was made by Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Oh my God, that's really very sad. I feel so bad for the people who died in the mass shooting. That was really very, very unfair. Lastly, let me take you to Hampi. The town of monuments is a UNESCO site in India. Hampi was the world's second largest medieval era city, a Hindu kingdom in South India that involves forts, riverside features, royal and sacred complexes, temples, water structures and others. It is where Ram and Lakshman met Sugriva in search of Sita. Oh my! So very old, but still looks new. I just love them all. Tanusha, it's all so beautiful. I couldn't believe my eyes. Everything is so nice and unique. All have different reasons of being built and have very different artistic features. Oh yes, you are absolutely right, Riva. This was just a small gist of it. Our motherland, India, is full of beautiful monuments. Really? That's amazing. I will surely visit India with my parents when the situation is normal again. Then it would be very interesting and exciting. I wish that this virus should leave the world soon and the mankind should be preserved then see you soon bye bye myself reva from nk babrodia public school class 8e this is tanusha debroy from class 8e nk babrodia public school and we did a small sketch on virtual tour of indian historical monuments and we hope that you loved our performance. Thank you.